Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Call me Cardi B. I run this shit like Cardi. Oh, 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 my God. This is Matt Talley checking in. I love you all show. Something good that's happened to me as of recent. I've received some really good news for my personal project, my small business, that's given me an assurance of stay true to yourself, stay focused in your endeavors, and make sure that you keep your head clear because the journey has its up and downs. That's right, Matt Talley. We got to keep moving because we know the marathon continues. Welcome, everybody, to the Oh My Golf Show. I don't even know where to begin because we have so much great news to jam pack, to stuff into this episode. We've got a big birthday celebration to tell you about. We've got um, to toast and knock out career, literally. You're going to see what I'm saying about that. Um, we also uh, got Bob. He lost a tooth. And uh, I bought a house. Give me the keys. And, um, and I also got the shingles. Say what? And they say when it rains, it pours. Right. Okay, so when things are all going good, like, why can't that just keep going? Because you know how life is. There's a yin and there's a yang. Yeah, so basically, um, I'm not contagious, I'm told. First and foremost. And I don't have herpes, okay? Because trust me, before you go there, it's the cousin of herpes. I've done so much research on this, okay? Uh, Basically, it's the chicken pox, adult chicken pox. But it's actually a lot more dangerous, or it could potentially be more dangerous because, you know, it's in your nerves, as I've discovered. Um, And... And yeah, how does this even happen? Well, once you have chicken pox, and, and all of us, you know, I, whatever your age is, um, if you're around my age, <laughs> you, we've all had chicken pox. And once you have chicken pox, it's in your body forever. It's just kind of sleeping. You know, it's just there. And until your, your immune system is compromised, uh, it doesn't resurface. And it tends to resurface for a while in a lot of older people. But now what they're finding is that there's a rise in younger people getting shingles and basically it just shows up in a form of like an itch which is what I had I thought it was just my allergies and then all of a sudden I started having a little pain on one side of my body and um, and it stays on one side and so um, you go and you get these huge horse pills and you take like three of them a day and hopefully it's all going to go away. High stress can lead to this. And we know we're in a workaholic type of society nowadays. So mm-hmm. it might make sense why a lot of younger people are starting to get it. Early. Yeah, I mean, there, there's all these studies on the connection of, you know, with stress, which makes sense because if you're compromising your immune system, that means you're probably stressed out. And so when I walked into the doc in the box, the first thing the doctor said to me, she goes, she looked at me. She's like, why are you so stressed out? And I was like, oh, my gosh, how long do you have? Do you, I mean... What is this, a therapy session, or am I just going to, like, we're going to try to find out what's wrong with me? And and then she went on, she goes, and it was almost like, you know, I'm a, I'm a woman of faith, and and I think sometimes you have to see these these cues and these um, signs and take them for what they are. Um, and she then went, in, went on, on to tell me that she had just read an article about how if you don't give your body a day of rest, it's going to give you a day of rest, you know? That's a great crucial key. Yeah, so... Uh, and then she was like, so what's wrong? And I'm like, how did you know this? Like, are you God? Like, how did you know that this was my life? Like, or do I look this bad? So, um, so then I, I lifted my shirt and I showed her and she's like, oh yeah, that's shingles. We don't even need to do culture. That's shingles. And, and she knew right away and saved me $139 and, uh, got me the medicine. But then it, it made me start thinking about it because I keep telling myself that I do need to rest. People ask me all the time, do you nap? And I'm like, oh, no, no time for nap. But I I have gone and taken it upon myself. I mean, this is stuff I think about. It's just a matter of executing. I want to show you this new thing that I bought. It's like a napping pod. Have you seen these? What is that? It's big in Japan. Adora loves it. it. It looks like a cartoon. This is how it works. You put it on your desk and it gives you, you can use the pillow inside if you want. You don't have to. But it gives you the privacy of taking a nap without all the excess noise and it kind of dims the light out and it is very soothing. So this is essentially what it looks like. Rest your arms and you'll see it's like headphones. Like it, 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 yeah, put your head, well, you got too big a hair. But, but the cushion does help. Like lay your head on the side like you're gonna take a nap, right? I mean, <laughs> it kind of looks ridiculous. But it's just awkward. Well, it's not, I mean, the thing is, is, I mean, how important is your comfort, right? This is one of my favorite things now. And it's so if you go to ohmygolf.com and click on favorite things, you too 
nap in some weird animal's mouth. Gosh. Big week for be on top. Hey. hey. Walk up in the thing. I be on my game. If it's competition, I put them to shame. Different kind of chick. Shout out to Fox 5 DC, though, for having your girl on last week. Your energy, you brought you your keep, culture, yes. you know, your youth. and Keeping um, in a hundred. You had fun. You you got even um, Jim, our, our main anchor or our main host. You loosened him up. I know. He was saying, facts. facts. <laughs> we all agree that we hope that you'll come back on again. Yes, I hope okay. so, too. Call me up real soon, please. And then I had a party to go to. Yes, you did. Mm-hmm. It's a celebration. Yeah, so we, I don't know how we squeezed all this in, but uh, yeah, the Style Setter Party, hosted by Washingtonian Magazine. My girlfriends came out. Uh, they, GNO, Girls think, Night Out. Yeah, five or six of us were honored, I think. Um, they actually, Washingtonian, so nice. They they did these, they used FrameBridge. They FrameBridged our own personalized cover. You can see us holding him there. Somebody had too much fun having no kids around and having a girls' night out, so yeah, she forgot it. Surprise? Yeah, Not they're, really. They're going to mail it to me. <laughs> I just sent them my address. <laughs> Left it at the bar. <laughs> Oops, but thank you, Washingtonian. Finally, I we had a milestone for baby Ren. She learned some new words. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. So I walk in my house. I love Red. My child, not only did she have like the same hairstyle as Brittany, I'm like, okay, now you're like twinsies. She's she's saying hey girl to me. And then she's dropping it like it's hot. She's going low. She's sweeping the floor. Hey girl. Hey girl, hey. There was a huge celebration. I mentioned the birthday party. We kind of gave you a teaser earlier. You're looking at pictures now of 100-year-old Vanilla Bean, who is a DC icon. The DC's hat lady is what they call her because she has been around uh, making hats for more than, I think she came here like 60 years ago, but her actual shop in Northwest DC has been around for 40 years. So uh, she celebrated with the mayor, Mayor Muriel Bowser, had tea with her. You can see she's fixing her hat right there. Then she went to the White House and she um, did an oral history there. Then the National Museum of African American History and Culture, where one of her toppers is featured. She was able to sit there and listen to it and see it herself. And just an extraordinary weekend for a remarkable woman. And here's a little bit of the story I did on her. Yes, the master milliner is still showing up. I'm still working <laughs> as long as I can come in. And yes, she's about to turn 100 years old. What do you think the secret is to making it to 100? Hard work. Still pulling 40 plus hour work weeks at her shop, the Bean Millinery and Bridal Supply in Northwest DC. And that keeps me going. Makes me want to, you know, create something else. A sweet thank you from Maya Angelou. A moment with Mayor Muriel Bowser and memory after memory of a dear friendship, and perhaps what Bean's creations are most famous for, adorning the head of late civil rights pioneer, Dorothy Height. We love those hats that she wore like a crown. A shout out from the president, a day in DC named just for her, a place in the National Museum of African American History and Culture. Something like this. Wow, turbans, Bean explains, are her favorite hat to make. I recreated the royal wedding, and I was Kate Middleton, and then my baby was Queen Elizabeth. Oh, isn't she cute? So, what grade would you give me? Oh, A. <laughs> I get an A? Yeah. Are you ready to party? I'm getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> What a blessing. I know. And I mean, how about her giving me props? Like that was the best, the, I mean, the I best compliment you could get is that this legendary milliner actually telling you that you and your glue gun did a good job. So, right. But she is really um, a force to be reckoned with. Uh, she also credits her family for standing by her. But I think what is key here, and we've talked about it before, it's just like your body, right? It's just like what Mr. Uh, 
Tally said at the beginning of the show, you got to keep moving. And that's what she said. She said that actually coming to her shop, and this part wasn't in the story, but, you know, she had lost a son um, in, a, in a bad accident. Um, her husband, of course, passed away um, a few, many years ago. And she said the one thing that was able to distract her and keep her mind off it and keep her from, you know, Going into those dark places that we tend to go to when things work against us and, and the unfortunate happens and we go through difficult times was going to the shop, seeing the customers, being asked to create and to use her mind and her hands. And I think that there is such a beautiful lesson in her story. And she is such a sweet woman, as sweet as her name. Yes. Now, from one inspirational woman to another. <laughs> Awakening. Tori Show No Nelson. That's my girl. Look at her. After nearly 10 years of professional boxing, Tori Show No Nelson, who hails from Ashburn, Virginia, 43 years old, mother of two, had her final face off. And this is how it ended. truly has a phenomenal story. This was a way to go out. I couldn't think of a better way to go out. Her family was there, and we had the opportunity to sit down with her, to reflect on her own life lessons, her sacrifice, her support, and also what's next, which is an OMG exclusive. I'm Tori Nelson, Tori Shonuff Nelson, multi-time world champion. How did you get involved in getting in the ring? Um, I first went to the gym with my coach, where my coach owned at the time, Craig Flatiger, Um, and I just wanted to get in shape. That's it, you know. So then he said, "Would you um consider fighting?" I said, "You gonna pay me?" He said, "Yeah, maybe if you that good." I said, "If you pay me, I'm gonna be the world champion." And now look at where we are now. Thirteen world championship titles. Yes, ma'am. that's huge. That's that a blessing, I tell you, it is. You were doing this as a mom. Yes, ma'am. As a working mom. Exactly. As a single working mom. Tell me about that. Um, I have two children, Cure and Simone. I held three jobs at one time. I drove school bus, I worked in the cafeteria, and I was a waitress. Because from what I understand, the kids spent a lot of time in the ring, right? Oh, when yes, ma'am. They was in the gym. They was raised in the gym. How much do you love the box? I love it. I love it obviously more than my marriage, my husband, my ex-husband said. <laughs> what do you think has led to your longevity in this sport? Other than God, is daddy -o. He knows boxing, you know? He knows, he knows like how to train me. If you watch my fights, every fight is a different fighter. I don't fight the same style. He tells me all the time, style makes fights. So he watched the fighter and he trained me to that fighter. Um, if you had to talk about mentors or people that you've looked up to along the way. As out of boxing, my mom. My mom is my rock. She took care of well, every bit of five to six kids by herself. I mean, with that in my background, and I have a strong background of women. So I mean, I just, I look at her and I think about what she went through and I, I can do this. What is the one thing that you want them to see through your story and your success and your journey? Your past do not make who you are. 
Everybody has a past. Your past do not make who you are. Never give up. If it's something that you want, you work extra hard for it. You work for it, you pray about it, and you, it's there, you got it. Did you ever have a point in your life, though, through this looking back, where you thought that you couldn't make it? But yes, I've hit rock bottom before. I have. It's been times where I said, I don't want to fight anymore. I'm done. I, I got, I don't think I have it anymore. Daddy will say, give me this one more fight, T. We got this one more fight, and then you think about it. Well, that one more fight was probably about <laughs> 15 fights ago. <laughs> So, so that leads me to my next week. So are you really retiring or what? Yes, I'm really retiring. This is really it. I'm really, I'm moving on. You time know, everybody time. has a time. You have a window and you have to know when to go. Daddy used to always tell me, when it's your time, you have to know and you got to leave. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's my, I know it's my time. How do you know that though? I just know, I feel it, I just know. What are you looking forward to the most, though, as you enter this new chapter? Um, I'm excited just to see what it's bring, what it's going to bring for me. You know, um, we have a blessing in the making right now that I don't know if I should speak of it, but it's in the making. It'll come out soon. You know, but well, it um, should come out now. <laughs> this is only for you. Oh yeah. Um, a big shout out to Miss Octavia Spence for. Um, we just signed and agreed for a movie. Yes. It's getting chills because I was I was going there. Yeah, so. no one knows but you got it first. Um, plans afterward. I will still be in box. I will still be here. You know, I still have female fighters that I like to talk to and encourage them for their fights. I mean, yeah, no, I, I won't leave it. I love it too much. Ooh! Oh look, wait, that is slow. You got it. It's slow, no. You just won oh, your last no, fight yes. ever. Bless, 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 bless. I love that you walked in with it's God and me. Mary, oh, Mary. yes, always. All, all day. day. Okay, all you knocked day. her out in the second round, though. Yes. Mary, you didn't even give her some time to breathe. Well, I want. I tried to get y'all your money's worth, but I mean, hey. <laughs> but see, it was for my grandma, so I had to, you know. Okay, I only wear black, but my grandma passed the end of July. Her birthday was September, and I was like, you know what? I'm not getting, it's my last fight. I'm not getting that ring without honoring my grandmother. This is her name. Irma J. Grandma this is her Irma. best scripture, her favorite scripture. Oh. I've had her her whole career from amateur to pro. Love her to death. She's my daughter. And I'm just glad that she went out like that. Not many fighters get an opportunity to go out on their own terms. This, this last chapter has been a phenomenally graceful because everybody around the world. So what's next? I don't know, you know, we're gonna wait. I just wanna wait to see what God have my next journey. I don't know, I'm excited. To be there to witness this moment for her with all of these people that believe in her, it is like watching a dream come true. And I don't think that there's anything more rewarding than that. Now, let's get back to the movie. <laughs> Uh, the exclusive so, tea we got. Craig, who is is her rock, you know, who's the one that, that has stood by her, you know, since the beginning and has coached her up. Uh, so we were talking with Daddy-O, he's known as Daddy-O, and uh, we were asking about, like, well, you know, who who would you want to play? You know, because this is what the movie people talk to them about. Like, they ask for their input. Um, and he said Matthew McConaughey. And I think, too, a T, like Matthew McConaughey, would be perfect. I do, too. I do, too. So, Matthew, if you're watching... Please mm -hmm. answer that call. Octavia will be giving you a ring soon. Yeah, and then for, for Tori. Yes, they're saying Tiffany Haddish, which I think is a good match, too. This would be an amazing, this would be a great show. And and it'd then, be good to see her in that role, a more serious role. And Brittany and myself, we want to be extras yeah. ringside. Before we get out of here, uh, because I know that we, uh, we've we spent, kept a lot of your time, don't forget to tune in to Fox 5 at yes. fox5dc.com slash live Monday in the 10 a.m. hour because we have the Emmys, which is happening on Fox. And I will be there to give you your full Emmy recap. And there might be some fashion police. So, you know, now that I'm a style setter and everything, uh, now I'm apparently an expert on fashion. <laughs> Verified. Yeah, okay. Uh, and um, and then also stay tuned because... Opa. 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 
Oh. <laughs> uh, this might be a disaster. I can't wait for this. Stay tuned for a disaster. We are gonna. We are taking you. Uh, we're going Greek. Yeah. Yes. All the way. Opa. Opa. Where's Dolly when you need her? Hey, Dolly, save us. Shingles. Don't forget, the show's waiting for you right now on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. Subscribe and please give me five stars. What would you say is the best advice you've ever gotten? Mike Tyson told me when I first met him. He said, this sport, you have to have tough skin. And he said, the people that's in your corner right now, and he told me, turn around, count, think about it. Count are the people that's in your corner right now. That's who you stay with. When they leave, you need to be done. Those people are the ones that love you. But when they leave, everybody else is coming for what you can do for them. My whole team, I went out there, my cook, my daddy, yo, Greg. Yeah. 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 To my kids, they went through this whole career with me. They missed play days, they missed everything. For, for me, for my business, for my kids, I'm thankful for them.